If you're gonna slam the door, it's fine. Slam the door. It has a little spring in there. Today, I bring a magnetic door stopper. So there's two of them included in here. And I really appreciate the vendors for sending them out for us to review. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what you can get when you get something like this. So uh, you buy a set of two. And if you guys know what these are, they basically go right behind the door. And they keep pretty much the door locked in and it won't swing if it's pretty windy or anything like that. It has a pretty strong magnetic. So magnetic. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. So what you get, you get actually the screws, the mounts. If it's brick, they give you the brick um, the mounts also and the regular uh, drywall. So drywall connection, if you guys can see that. And they give you all these patches. These are 3M. If you're going to actually just um, pretty much um, uh, set this up without any drilling or anything like that. You can do that too. Uh, but if you guys can see, here's the actual door, door stoppers. So uh, another great thing is that you can do, uh, if you have a washer and dryer and, and you have a door that keeps opening and closed, you could actually have one of these to hold the action. They're strong. These are actually strong. Look at that magnet. The force is like a couple pounds. All right, so let's take a look at the actual magnet itself. And, and like I said, you could double side tape this. It doesn't have to be drilled in if you want, that's an option. But this is a plus if you wanna actually keep something like from hitting or banging. It could be, a, like I said, it's made for doors, but you could use it for other options too. And it's pretty strong if you guys can see that. So anything could attach to it, as long as you have a flat surface to it, or you could drill it down, of course. And these are two base, uh, to begin with, I would actually just demo it. Make sure you put one of these stickers where actually this actually is going to be sitting at. So it could give you a fair idea of what you need to screw in because there's actually three ways of screwing in. And there's there. In fact, here's the three ways that you can actually screw in. Same goes for the back one. All right. So on this one particular one, you're going to have to unscrew this actually um, 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 Phillips screwdriver screw. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver to actually take this off and then mount this by itself and then you can twist it to back in there. All right, so I don't have a stopper and this is what happens. It damages your thing in the back and see how it hits right there. You can see it. So we're gonna set one up down at the bottom because I do not have one. You see the door, it closes and it hits the wall. So that's the only problem we're gonna do. We're gonna set it up to get rid of the, I don't want to damage it and break the actual drywall. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you set up the guides, if you guys notice, let me move the camera. Once you set up the guides where you want the actual door to hit and then to lock in, it's simple as that. So that's where we actually want it. Um, so we're gonna put a place, a sticker in place right there. So we're gonna set one up right here. This mount's gonna go in here, right there where we wanna make sure it does hit in place. Uh, this could be either way because, um, preferably this way so it could actually hit the magnet, all right? So the magnet is gonna have to hit here in this direction, but it could go either directions as long as it's in the, in the same proximity, all right? Once you find your actual location where you want the guide in, you could just set this up, but make sure that this screw is facing up, all right? Make sure it's facing up. So when you actually tie these up, it'll be, nice and tight in there so once you find your location and like you said I got my guide here it's all set up already it's ready to go um, we got one side and then we just need the other side which is gonna be on this side here all right we're gonna guide it in there the three holes screw make sure you got it nice and guide okay we got it in there you can mark them if you want but it's easier like this for me that's good enough. So, all right, we're gonna set up the first screw. All right, so let's guide it in there. We got the guides already set up in place. There's one hole, and then we just gotta find the other ones, make sure. Uh, we are gonna get another one. All right, if you guys notice, it's a little bit off the ground because um, this is how the level I have to be. My door is really up all the way up, if you guys notice. But it's fine. We're gonna go ahead and take out the other side now. Now that we found the guide, and we we actually double sided tape on this one, and then we could just start screwing it in. And look at that, beautiful. It sticks in there. I don't want to. I don't want to close it yet because look at this. It's gonna make. It's gonna marry itself. I just don't want to do it yet until it has a screw. So let's go ahead and screw this in. Let's 
strong, nice and strong. That's it. We're not gonna get that hit at all. The door is perfectly fine from there. And Toby is very upset because now we can't close the door on him. Um, so, open, close, open, close. And look at the balance, look at the bounce, look at the bounce, if you guys can see, the springs. So you don't, if you're gonna slam the door, it's fine. Slam the door, it has a little spring in there. I like that. And no more damaging of the drywall. You guys can see the drywall. Look at that. That is crazy. Like it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video.